Hey everyone, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks, and today we're taking a look at the four best rated stocks of the week. So let's get into it. All right guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for being here. Today, we're taking a look at trending stocks of the week. So these are stocks that have been picking up a lot of attention from Wall Street analysts. And today, we're not looking at the most rated, but the best rated stocks. So they've been getting a lot of buy ratings as well. We're gonna take a look at these companies and what has analysts weighing in on the stock's future. You can follow along over on tipranks.com or by downloading the TipRanks mobile app as well. Now let's get right into today's trending stocks. We found today's stocks under the tools page with trending stocks on tip ranks. And here we're going to look at the best rated and over the past seven days, giving us our list down below. First up, we have Datadog. Their stock has picked up 32 analyst ratings in the past seven days. The software company trades under the ticker DDOG priced at $131 per share, and they've had a big growth this past year, up 63% and 19% in the last three months. And if we look at the past week, we've had some ups and downs. That volatility this past week is in relation to their latest quarterly earnings report. Datadog did report some solid quarterly numbers, but their future outlook left investors wanting more. For their fourth quarter, the company reported earnings per share of $0.44, cents, which did beat estimates by $0.01 cent per share, and they also saw their revenue grow 26% year-over-year to $590 million. But it's looking forward that has investors concerned. They're expecting earnings per share between $1.38 and $1.44, and that fell well short of the $1.78 that analysts were anticipating. Revenue is anticipated to be between $2.555 billion and $2.575 billion, also falling short of the 2.59 billion anticipated. With 32 analyst ratings coming in the past seven days, we are seeing a mixture between buys and holds. One hold rating came from an analyst at Robert W. Baird. They noted that their hold rating was based on a careful examination of Datadog's latest financial performance and future guidance. While they did beat expectations, they said that their growth rate has decelerated compared to previous years, and there is a sense that the company's performance, although solid, is beginning to stabilize rather than exceed expectations. And that 2024 revenue guidance did fall slightly short of the consensus, hinting at a more conservative outlook. Feeling a bit more bullish on the Datadog stock, we did have an analyst from TD Cohen who increased their price target. Along with their buy rating, the firm said that the company posted a strong fourth quarter with revenue growth of 26% as optimization trends continue to fade and management noting that the worst of optimizations appear to be in the rear view. With those 32 analyst ratings, we have 21 buys and 11 holds, having the Datadog stock come in as a moderate buy. And the average price target comes in at $146 for an upside potential of over 11%. Down below, you can see the long list of recent price targets all coming in this past week. On the low end, we do have a downside here from DA Davidson with a downside of 12%. Some high end price targets up north of 25, almost 26% here, and a lot in those high single digits to low teens. Our second trending stock is Uber Technologies. They've picked up 21 analyst ratings this past week. The ride-hailing company trades under the ticker UBER and is priced at $79.51 per share. This is another company that's seen amazing growth the past year, climbing 128%, including 46% in the last three months, and you'll notice a big jump up here at the start of the week. Uber did post a notable earnings beat in their last quarter, but that came out over a week ago on February 7th. The recent news that had the stock soaring this week was the announcement of their first ever buyback program. The company announced a share repurchase program of up to $7 billion. The CFO noted that this was a vote of confidence in the company's strong financial momentum and that they would be thoughtful as it relates to the pace of their buyback. And that announcement did follow their quarterly report the week prior, where they did have an earnings beat and saw their gross bookings grow 22% year over year. For their fourth quarter, Uber reported earnings per share of 66 cents, outpacing the expectations by 60 cents per share. And for their revenue, it did grow 15% year over year to $9.9 billion. Uber announced that share repurchase program at their investor day this week, giving analysts some insight to their future outlooks as well. Now with those 21 ratings we've seen come in the past week, every single one has come in with a buy. 
One analyst from Truist raised their price target, saying that the company's Investor Day presentation ushers in a new era of robust, profitable growth, noting that the management's better-than-expected three-year gross bookings and EBITDA targets, along with their robust $7 billion buyback. We also had a price target increased at Mizuho. They said that while the gross bookings and EBITDA targets were in line to modestly better than the consensus, they are conservative, especially for profitability given favorable unit economics and advertising potential. The firm says that cross-selling is the centerpiece of Uber's long-term growth. Overall, the Uber stock has 37 current analyst ratings, coming in as a strong buy with 35 buys and just two holds. The average price target comes in at $80.41, which is a very slight upside of 1% as the stock has nearly hit that price target already. But when we look at some of the more recent ratings from this past week, most of them are in those double-digit uh, mid-teen percent upsides here. On the high end, we have a UBS rating here over 20%, a couple around that 6.8% mark. And as we scroll down to some later ratings, we're going to see those downsides uh, that the stock has already surpassed. On the low end, we do have a hold here with a downside of over 14%. Our third stock today is HubSpot. They've also picked up 21 ratings in the last week. The cloud-based software platform trades under the ticker HUBS, priced at $612 per share. They've seen upside of 51% in this past year, climbing 30% in the last three months, but falling a few percent here in the past week. They just reported their Q4 earnings a couple of days ago on February 14th. They came out with solid results and an optimistic future outlook. For their fourth quarter, they reported earnings per share of $1.76, coming in comfortably ahead of expectations, and total revenue came in at $581.9 million, which is up 24%. Their total revenue for the year also grew 25% compared to 2022. Now looking forward for 2024, the company is anticipating total revenue in the range of $2.55 to $2.56 billion, and that would suggest an 18% year-over-year growth. Within those 21 recent analyst ratings, we've had 18 buys and three holds. One buy rating does come from a five-star analyst at Oppenheimer. They noted that they were surprised to see strong down-market momentum extend into the enterprise-heavy Q4 with record net customer ads. They expect fiscal 2024 EBIT margin to expand from 14% in the first half of the year to mid to high teens in the second half. The strong quarter, stable KPIs, widening product funnel, and new pricing model crystallizes the firm's belief that HubSpot represents the best combination of growth and profitability across its coverage. Overall, the HubSpot stock does come in with a strong buy rating. And the average price target of $693 would be an upside potential of 13%. Down below, we can see the majority of these ratings all coming in in the past week. On the low end, we do have some fairly flat price targets. Uh, that'd be JP Morgan here at 2.79%. High end price targets get up to about 24.5%, and then a lot falling in between in those high single digits to mid teens. And our fourth trending stock this week, also picking up 21 ratings, is Global Payments. They trade under the ticker GPN and are priced at $136 per share. They've grown 18% in the past year and have climbed 22% in the last three months. And you can see this week they've taken some jumps up as well. Global Payments did come out with a slight earnings beat in their latest quarter and some solid future outlook, though some are saying it may be a bit conservative. For their fourth quarter, they reported earnings per share of $2.65, sneaking in one cent ahead of analyst estimates. They did have fourth quarter revenue of $2.43 billion, which grew 8% year over year. The company is also expecting to launch a commerce bank joint venture in the first half of the year, and they noted that they successfully closed their acquisition of Evo Payments in March. Looking forward to 2024, they're anticipating adjusted net revenue in the range of $9.17 billion to $9.3 reflecting growth of 6 to 7 percent. And one firm did note that those future outlooks were a bit lower than they expected. Mones Crespi did say that the guidance was conservative, related to the timing of their Evo acquisition synergy realization, primarily around pricing, cross-sell opportunities, and prudent caution around the consumer. But even with some conservative future guidance, we still had 18 out of those 21 analyst ratings come in as a buy, and many of them increasing price targets as well, including one analyst from Citi.
They noted that the company reported sales a touch above expectations and earnings in line, and that the firm likes the company's highly visible, steady return models and finds the stock attractively valued. We also had an analyst at Argus who said that the company is well positioned to take advantage of the changing payments landscape, which increasingly favors the use of electronic payments. Global Payments has a total of 24 current analyst ratings and comes in as a strong buy with 20 buys and 4 holds. And the average price target of $160 would be an upside potential of 17.5%. Looking down below at our most recent ratings, a lot of price targets coming in those mid to high teens. On the high end, we have B. Riley coming out with a price target of over 49% upside. And on the low end, we do have a hold rating back here with a downside of 5.5%. So that is a quick look at our four best rated stocks of the past week and what has them trending with Wall Street analysts. Let me know your thoughts on these companies in the comments down below and if you've been following along with any of them this past week. I always love hearing from you guys. Keep in mind these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock, so please make sure you always stick to your own investment plan. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you back here next time.